Senegal heads to the polls on March 24th. Voters will be choosing a successor to President Macky Sall, who is not seeking a third term. For the first time in the nation's history, the incumbent is not on the ballot. So who are some of the main contenders? Prime Minister Amadou Ba has been handpicked by Sal as the ruling Benabok Yakar coalition's candidate after a party-wide consultation process. Sal said at the time Ba would be a unifying figure, but analysts say there are divisions within the BBY which lost key cities in the 2022 local elections and a number of seats in the 2023 legislative election. Some members worry that Barr has never contested a presidential election, while most of his main opponents have. Khalifa Ababakar Sal, unrelated to the president, served as mayor of the capital Dakar from 2009 to 2018. He is one of President Sal's chief political rivals. In 2018, he was sentenced to five years in jail for embezzling about $3 million in public funds, preventing him from contesting the February 2019 presidential election. President Sal pardoned him in September that year. Veteran politician Idrissa Sack served as prime minister from 2002 to 2004 under former President Abdul Iwad. He was sacked over embezzlement allegations and spent some months in jail before his case was dismissed. In 2006, he founded his own party and challenged Ward in 2007, finishing second. Sack placed second in the 2019 presidential race with 21% of the vote, after which his party joined the ruling BBY coalition with President Saul. Mohamed Boun Abdallah Dion was President Saul's third prime minister from 2014 to 2019. He was seen as one of the front runners in the race to succeed Saul within the BBY coalition. He announced his candidacy in September 2023 and launched his own coalition days after Saul elected Barr as the candidate for the ruling coalition. Entrepreneur and a political newcomer, Anta Babakar Nnom, launched the Alternative for the Next Generation of Citizens political movement in August 2023. She was until recently the executive director of Sedima, a leading poultry production group in the region founded by her father. She joined forces with around a dozen opposition candidates in February to fight the postponement of the presidential election when Sal issued a shock decree to delay it. Whether I win the election or not, this government in place will go down. Basi Rufei is running in place of jailed Senegalese opposition firebrand Usman Sonko, who was disqualified over a defamation conviction. Members of Sonko's Dissolve Pestef party and other parties formed a coalition and named Feyi in November as a backup candidate. Sonko later called for his supporters to vote for Feyi. Faye is currently in detention, facing charges including defamation and contempt of court. He remains eligible because there has been no ruling yet against him.